Good morning guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Monday, April 8th, 2024. It's 9.30 in the morning and happy Eclipse Day. Today is the long-awaited eclipse that is going to be happening this afternoon. I got my glasses, my little solar eclipse glasses. It literally has the date on them and everything. So yeah, we are going to watch the eclipse today. I'm like kind of excited, honestly, to see it. Like I wonder, you know, what it's going to look like. And before the eclipse happens, because it's going to pass by me at around like a little after three o'clock. So until then, because we do have a few hours before that happens, I have to do some cleaning and I figured I would film a clean with me video. But I'm gonna finish up my coffee, have some of that, and let's get started. Let's clean my house, shall we? Hey guys, just stopping in really quick to give a huge thank you for the sponsor of today's video. And the sponsor of today's video is, of course, my absolute favorite, Dossier Per fumes and I got a bunch of new stuff I'm very excited about it and I got two of my favorite items here so the first one I got is a dossier original so for those of you who do not know what dossier is dossier is an online perfume company where they make designer inspired fragrances at a more than fair price you can smell designer without paying the designer prices and they also have dossier originals so instead of just getting designer inspired fragrances they actually make their own in individual scents as well and they are always so delicious and they smell so so good. All of their perfumes come in a really nice glass 50 milliliter bottle. They are cruelty free. They are made in France which is like the perfume capital of the world. They're really easy to work with. Shipping is fast and of course you get to smell good which is always a perk. So the dossier original that I got is Rose and Basil Bliss and this has notes of basil, orange, red fruit, Bulgarian rose, violet leaf, geranium, Virginia Cedarwood and vanilla just to name a few of them and as I said the bottles are very very beautiful They're very sleek looking they look really nice on a vanity they have a really secure magnetic top and this one literally just smells like fresh garden to me like this is a really pretty like spring and summer fragrance the basil is definitely strong with this one for sure like I don't get too much rose it's definitely more basil, but that is okay with me. And the other product that I got from Dossier, this is somewhat new to them, and it has literally become my new favorite thing, and that is these little room diffusers. So when you open up the box, you get a little card that tells you how they work, what scent you got, and you also get a very large bottle right here, and you also get some little wooden sticks as well. And basically how this works is you put these little wick sticks inside of this bottle, set it up in a bathroom or a bedroom, and it basically just fills the room with amazing scent. I love these so much. The last one I got was the flower bomb one, and I have it set up in my bathroom right now, and it is so good. It makes my bathroom smell fresh all the time. And this one, I got is actually Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by one of my favorite scents by them, Labo's Santal 33. So I already know this one is going to be absolutely amazing. If you guys are interested in checking out Dossier for yourself, I will have a link and all the information down in the description box. I've been working with and using Dossier for a really long time. I always get compliments on how I smell and I love to smell good. It is one of my all-time favorite things. Make sure you go ahead and check out Dossier and find your new favorite scent. And thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video and for continuing to work with me. Now, back to the vlog.
I didn't vlog me filming the bathrooms because they were kind of gross. Yep, this bathroom is fully cleaned. Countertops are wiped down, sink is cleaned. Toilet is cleaned. We have everything. I have this really cool little oil diffuser from Dossier just to make it smell nice in here. Um, trash is taken out, so that one is clean. Dishes are done. I'm just gonna kind of let them air dry a little bit more before I put them away. Uh, the living room is almost done. I have the blankets and pillow coverings in the dryer right now, so then we can put the living room back together. This bathroom is also just cleaned it. Toilet's cleaned, everything's vacuumed, wiped down. So we're doing good, we're doing good. The only thing I have left to do is all of this right here. Everything you see on this bed right here needs to be washed. The comforter, the blankets, the sheets, the mattress protector, the pillowcases. So this is gonna take a while. Um, and then I just need to vacuum up here as well. But Avril's bed is also made. It is currently quarter to one right now. So we're getting closer and closer to the eclipse. I'm very excited. I talked to my mom a little bit uh, for like an hour or so. Um, I'm probably just gonna chill for a minute wait for the stuff in the dryer to be done and we can continue. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna finish jamming out to my music. Okay, I wanna see first, I'm gonna walk outside and I'm just gonna see if I can even see the sun from outside. Just see neighbors getting ready to like put their chairs out there and stuff so it, it won't just be me <laughs> it's already happening i can already see it with my glasses you guys probably can't see anything but it's happening i wonder can you guys see it maybe with the glasses starting to get darker and darker outside. It looks really weird. There it is. Almost there. I'm back inside now. It's still pretty like weirdly dark out, but the eclipse is starting to end. The moon is starting to move away from the sun. Um, hopefully I got some good shots, but that was actually really cool to see. Um, I was expecting a little bit more of like a ring of fire, but it wasn't, <laughs> but it was still really cool. Really cool. That was fun. I'm so glad I got to see that. That was awesome. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is a few days later now. It is Friday, April 12th. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I filmed a video today. I edited that video. So it's we're, we're getting ahead of shit. We're getting ahead of the game. And now I am going to do an Amazon haul. I'm sorry that it's been a few days since I talked to you guys. I think the last time I talked to you was Monday. And then I've just been, you know, dealing with my mom. If you guys didn't watch my last vlog, she had knee replacement surgery and, oh, the recovery process for her has not been very easy. She's been having a very hard time with it. So I've just been spending a lot of time with her, helping her with things, fighting with her, trying to get her to do her exercises, going to the pharmacy for her. So. It was just a very busy week, but I'm here now, I am back. We have so many Amazon packages. Two, three, and four. So we are gonna open all of these up. I think a couple of these are my boyfriend's stuff, but we'll just have to see. So I figured I would just do an Amazon haul and just talk to you guys, update you guys. I'm sorry if my makeup looks a little bit like crap right now. I was literally like sweating trying to edit that video. It was another true crime video and I was just like stressing about it because I was having some issues. So 
I'm sure I'm looking all sorts of crusty dusty. He just got some work shorts, so I'll just open these up and I'll get these washed for him because we are heading into warmer weather and he wants to get some shorts to wear for work. So that is what those are. So I will save those for him. I don't know why they couldn't just put all of these into one big box. Why did they have to give me so many like boxes and bags and shit? This next box is one of my things. This is my hair color. Uh, I My favorite hair color, I do my hair myself at home and I do use box color. And my favorite hair color is the Schwarzkopf Keratin Color. And this is the Midnight Black right here. This is what I use. This is what I love. Uh, I do have to do my roots probably within the next couple of weeks. So I had to get some more hair dye. But for those of you who always ask what hair color I use to keep, keep my hair so black, this is it. I used to really like the Revlon one, but after I switched to the Schwarzkopf, I like that one much better. Even though that one is a little bit more expensive because that one is like 11 to $15 and the Revlon one is like $3, but you know, whatever. All right, in this next one, we have ooh, more of my stuff. So I recently did like some spring cleaning in my bathroom and there were a few products that I needed to repurchase. So that's basically what these are. So this first one is just some more Neutrogena makeup remover wipes right here because I needed needed to get more of those because I was almost out. Um, I also got more of those Mighty Patch pimple patches. These are like some of my favorite pimple patches. I only had one left when I did my clean out video, so I definitely wanted to get more of these. And I also got the Differin Acne Clearing Body Scrub. This is my third time purchasing this product. And I freaking love it, okay? So I started a new birth control and my body is not agreeing with it very well. My skin is breaking out really bad. My neck is breaking out really bad. That's kind of why I'm trying to hide it with this necklace, even though it's probably not doing a good job. Uh, my chest is all broken out, my back, my butt. Like I'm just, I'm broken out everywhere. Like my body is still trying to adjust to this new birth control, so. And this acne body wash is absolutely fantastic. I love it. So I needed to get more of this because I'm almost out of the one that's in my shower. And this is definitely going to come in handy. And we have one box left, which I don't really remember what else I ordered. So the last two things I got, this one, not really like super cool or anything. Just some more of those cotton pads. If you guys watched my bathroom clean out video that I uploaded a few days ago, uh, I needed more of these, so I got those. And I also needed some deodorant. And my favorite deodorant right now is the Lady Speed Stick in Powder Fresh. This one right here, that is my all time favorite deodorant right now. And I found on Amazon, you can get them in a pack of four. So I am all set for a very long time. Yeah, that is everything in our Amazon packages. So that's kind of like my little Amazon haul. I know it's nothing super exciting, just like toiletry type shit, but you know, just figured I'd vlog it anyway. Real life over here, guys, nothing, <laughs> nothing too fancy schmancy. And I know some of you are probably wondering, or maybe you're not, I don't know, but I haven't talked about work in a while. Uh, I was home Monday, I usually work Mondays, I'm home today, I usually work Fridays, and I'm not at work. And not gonna get into it really right now, but basically I am taking a one month sabbatical from work, which means I'm taking like a paid leave from work right now, and I just have a lot of things to think about and consider and if I want to stay working there or leave. Uh, yeah, so I'm basically just, you know, taking a month off, just, you know, focusing on myself, my mom, my future, you know, things like that. Like this was my decision to kind of take this leave and it's been really hard on my heart and mind and I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna do for the future, basically. And right now, I do not know. But yeah, it's been kind of nice because I've been able to like really focus on YouTube and I've been able to film 
edit, upload on like a regular schedule, like every four days now, which when was the last time I, I did that? Yeah, I'm gonna go put all of this stuff away, uh, finish making my bed, because I finally washed all of my sheets and stuff, thank God. That needed to be done so bad. I have the comforter in the washer, so I'm just waiting for that to finish washing so I can start drying it. And everything on my bed will be clean and I'm so excited. That's all I have for right now. I will probably talk to you guys in the next clip. I'm thinking about making some salmon for dinner, so I might see you guys in the kitchen later. So yeah, but that's all I have. I love you guys and I will see you in the next clip. Hey guys, welcome back. It is now almost eight o'clock at night. I took a shower, I got my comfies on, and we're gonna have some dinner. And I'm gonna have some salmon. I was at my mom's yesterday and she gave me like half a slab of salmon and that sounds really good. So, figured that's what we can have for dinner tonight. So I'm just getting it all nice and ready. I don't know what I wanna have with the salmon. Like, I don't know if I want mashed potatoes, which I'm kind of feeling like I do. I had a very productive day and I cannot wait to just fill my belly and have a relaxing night. I'm just very excited. But here is the slab of salmon. It is very, very large. So I honestly probably don't need to eat anything with it because this is quite big. But uh, we'll just see how I'm feeling. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to watch a movie tonight with dinner or a show. I recently started watching the Teen Mom family, family reunion or whatever. And I... <laughs> I don't like it. Hang on, let me wash my hands. Like, I really like Teen Mom, like in 16 and Pregnant, Teen Mom 2, Teen Mom OG. I love those shows. And I'm not even a parent, and I don't even like kids, but I love those shows. Well, they started a couple years ago, the Teen Mom Family Reunion or whatever, and I was like, oh, cool, like more of my favorite kind of show. Well, I started watching it, and it is like the most MTV bullshit I've ever seen. Like, it just seems so scripted and so drama fueled, like around the same like three, four people. And I'm honestly just so annoyed, but I feel like I'm at the point now where like I started it, I'm committed to it, so I have to finish it. You know what I mean? Do you ever get like that? So I usually put all the same seasonings on my fish. So just a little dash of salt, a little dash of pepper, some onion powder, and I literally cannot eat my fish unless it is seasoned this way. I don't know why this is like my favorite combination of seasonings. We have some garlic and herb, just a little bit of that sprinkled, or a lot, like go off, bitch, I guess. And some lemon pepper. I know I literally just put pepper on, but there's just something about the lemon pepper that just smacks me right in the soul. Okay, and then I just kinda rub it in Give her a little slap for good <laughs> All right, so salmon is ready. Just waiting for the oven to preheat. I'll probably just have some green beans with my dinner. That kind of sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just have some green beans. Now, the only thing I don't like about these is there's quite a bit of sodium in these, and that's the last thing I need in my life is more sodium in my diet, but you know, whatever. It's the weekend, right? And I like to add just a little bit of butter in the green beans. I'm not gonna turn them on yet because the salmon's gonna take a minute to fully cook. Just start with 15 minutes and see where that takes us. There's the salmon, all done.
Yep, I think we're good. Not even gonna lie to you guys, my favorite part of a salmon is the skin. Oh, I love the skin, and it's really good for you, too. So, I'm a huge fish eater, obviously, as I'm spitting food everywhere. Um, I want to know, if you guys are big fish eaters like myself, do you guys eat the skin, too, when you eat salmon, or is that just me? My boyfriend thinks it's gross and won't eat it, but mm, I happen to love it. It just has such good flavor. I guess we'll watch this Teen Mom bull crap. So much drama. I cannot.